Hi YouTubers, Terry here. I wanted to do a video. Um, this is the um, last day I can get this in. So I, um, I am doing a video response to Hazel Basil 123, which is Christina um, and her 100 subby giveaway challenge. And um, this is the first time I've ever made anything like this. Um, so it was um, a real challenge for me. For me, I debated over and over whether or not to do it. Um, you're supposed to do an altered item in my signature style, which I don't know. Um, maybe I'm evolving into this. I don't know. We'll see. This is a little outside <laughs> um, my comfort zone, but um, I really wanted to do this. I had uh, won in a giveaway some papers from Graphic 45's Once Upon a Springtime from Beth's, Beth's Scrapbook Room, um, and that was from Beth, and I just love the papers, and when I was trying to decide what to do for this challenge, I wanted to do something with a birdcage, an altered birdcage, a small one, and it just wasn't coming together and wasn't coming together. And so I um, kind of changed gears, and um, as often happens, I think, and I decided to do um, this shadow box um, for Christina. And I understand today's the last day. Um, I am going to uh, mail this to Christina, um, which is fine. Um, I just want to get this video response in. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit what, about what I did. Um, the, the box is made from basil cardstock that I had in my stash. And I just decided what size I wanted to make the box and um, use my Martha Stewart um, scoreboard, which I love, for making the box. And that went together pretty good. Um, I'll just kind of rotate around here. On the sides of the box, I used um, some of the paper from the collection that had just fairies, like postage stamps. That's not focusing very well. I'm sorry. And um, I glued that on the side, the, the two sides of the box. And the top and the bottom is just a, a green. Um, print from the from the collection also and the front was a a window um, die cut I guess um, from the collection so I just glued that on and I put um, frosted lace stickles um, to embellish it like right here and um, in Beth's, from Beth's scrap cook room, she had um, sent along um, these Petaloo flowers and their um, spring darling collection, I think, something like that, and um, in pistachio, and I used three of the four in here. Um, I use that on the outside, and the leaves come with it, and I did frosted lace stickles on the leaves, and um, that's pretty much it for the outside. I'm going to go in close. Hopefully, I can, you can see it. Um, I fussy cut the fairy from some of the collection. A, um, the, I had to use a K somewhere in it. So there's a charm. Whoa, excuse me. A charm that hangs from her hand. And um, that was just one I had in my stash. And it was silver, so I wanted it a little different. So I put the frosty stickles on it. So it's kind of a, just a frosty silver 
I um, put the frosty stickles on her wings and headband and I mounted some paper to the back of the box from the collection back here and I don't know if you can see it let's see if I can rotate it there's another fairy back there that's kind of flying and I put frosty stickles on her wings also and um, I she's standing in one of the petaloo flowers and then at just as filler, I used a lot of different things. I had gotten this flower spray kind of thing yesterday from Joann's. So I used some of the green fronds from that and put stickles. Um, they're back, back there. I, I stickled those. And... Um, there's three kinds of moss that I used to make the base. Um, this brown stuff right here. Well, let me just pan over to my bag. Okay. So there's the brown stuff that's there, and that's the moss collection. And then this is just uh, stuff I had in my stash. And also this... Um, mossy grass. This is actually on a fabric. Um, and I use that first to cover everything. Um, I use the ribbon that I had gotten at my garage sale find um, because I thought she, Hazel or uh, Christina might want to hang this. So I made this so she could hang it if she wants or it can sit, sit on a shelf. Um, either way works. So, um, there is my um, altered item for Christina. I hope you like it. I will get this off um, first of next week for you. Um, and Thanks for doing the challenge, um, and have a good weekend.